Welcome back chickadees. I wanted to do a quick introduction of this video to let you know what would all be involved in this, well, supposed to be April, but it turned out to be first of May. Um, just a quick little side note, just didn't feel like it in April. I received news that my fur baby Dax had passed while out thrifting. And to put it in a quick way, um, didn't really feel like going back to that place. And it's one of my favorites. So I recently revisited, but this video took a while because I just didn't really know and I didn't have the oomph or drive to do anything um, or film. So you're gonna see a dual video where I take you along to a really sweet secondhand consignment store back in my hometown of Oklahoma. And it's called uh, Threads Consignment. Super cute shop if you are a friend or visitor of Oklahoma. Uh, definitely check out or sell your items at Threads. And the other portion of the video will be behind the scenes of an underground market in Dallas. And this is one of my favorite markets that I've done. I always have really wonderful feedback and customers and overall just love the market. So I am hoping that you have a wonderful springtime and I will see you at, if not at the end of the video, then the next video. So enjoy. This first stop in the video is Threads Consignment. I am from a very lovely small town in the northeast corner of Oklahoma called Tahlequah. If you visit, make sure to check out Threads, a huge variety of consignment clothing and jewelry. And when I was there, Teresa, the owner, was showing me around a lot of the vintage items. There were some really cute purses, even a handmade uh, leather purse that I was very tempted to pick up. I loved this one um, and the leather purse had a really cute clasp but I just decided I didn't really need a purse so trying to make sure that I get the items on my wish list or the looking for list but the vintage items were definitely ones to check out especially the I guess set this I wouldn't call it a suit set here but almost like a athletic set it was so fun to look through that rack of vintage items. I ended up buying this blue button-up shirt for Mr. Chickadee for an upcoming concert that we have. And I tried this red top on. It, I don't know, it was out of season. It was weird because there was a pocket on the right, but not on the left. You even saw my hand trying to see if there was. I don't know, it was just weird. Ended up not getting that. I did get this black leather skirt. I am attempting to try to add more skirts and dresses to my outfits for the summer so that I'm not just wearing shorts because it gets super, super hot. We'll see how that goes. I ended up getting also this snakeskin longer, not really a maxi skirt, but shin, shin length and Paired it. Loved that. Welcome to the underground market. We are here. It is underground market weekend. And I just finished setting up, so I'll be shooting more footage throughout the day. But I'm stopping in the merchant for restroom and maybe something to drink, so stay tuned.
Mom is helping me today and she put in her pocket already a purchase. A steal of a deal. Okay. She said she's gonna buy these too. A couple of tips if you are interested in doing a pop-up or a market. I created these reusable tags. I got some scrap of paper and I laminated them, then hole punched, then put twine where I could put it around hangers or attach it um, to buttons or whatnot. And that has come in very handy. I just erase what was previously written with a magic eraser and update my stock. Another very helpful tip for me is always having food. Depending on how much I sell at an event, I don't like to spend all of my sale money on food. There can be some amazing vendors, but I always try to pack and prepare for snacks and for lunch. It is about 1.30, so we've been out here since 11. Just sold some gorgeous pieces of clothing from the booth to a couple of customers, so it's going good today. Welcome to the Blue District. This wonderful, charismatic woman was so friendly to me the first time we were set up at the market together, which we really only sat up next to each other one time, and then after that, it was just instant connection. She was so sweet. All of her clothing is designed by her herself. Um, everything is vegan or sustainable, made of recycled material. And it's just so inspiring to meet these entrepreneurs and, and people locally at the underground market. That's part of the reason why I love this market so much. <laughs> 